Okay, so this is asking uh, 12th graders. Um, and we're asking a lot of them, 12,900 12th graders. Um, uh, have, how frequently have you uh, smoked cigarettes during the last uh, past 30 days? So the answers that came up were none, some but less than one, one to five, six to 14, uh, 15 to 25, 26 to 34, and 35 or more. Okay? This is a lot. So, um, so what the question asks us is find the probability that within the last 30 days a random selected 12th grader, right, if I just randomly chose a 12th grader, smoked. So, a, I'm going to do it red, and it's, it's, it's a 12th grader that's smoked. What does smoked mean, first of all? So, smoked would mean all this, right? Even some would be that, right? So, at that point, I would add all of those up, and I get... 26.7%. So what are my chances? Well, 26.7, or if you really thought of it at, out of 100, right? Because that's percents out of 100. So if I move that percentage over, then I could also say it's 267 out of 1,000. So that's my chance, 267 kids out of a thousand 12th graders that I pick would uh, have smoked. Okay, if I just randomly picked one. So I got a 26.7% chance of picking a, a student that smoked. Or a 12th grader. Excuse me, that smoked. So B. Notice I'm changing the colors this time a little differently. Because there were so many of these colors, I decided uh, I didn't have that many colors, so I'm going to use a color scheme that's a little different. So in this B, it says smoked at least one cigarette per day. Smoked at least one cigarette per day. So at least one this is less than one, right? So that's not included. So at least one would be these guys. So basically, I would take this 9.8 and subtract it from that. Or just add these up. And I would get 16.9%. Okay? So I'm just adding all these up. C, D, E, F, and G. Okay. And this question C, stuff's not too hard, is it? It's like, question C is smoked between 6 and 34 cigarettes per day, inclusive. Okay. Inclusive. So 6, oh, it's an inclusive and. 6 and 34. What does that mean? 6 and 34. So what we're saying there, 6 and 34 would mean that I have this bubble between what? Two groups. 6 is this one. And 34 is this one, right? So it would have to be between group D and F. Okay? So D and F. And when I add those two up,
Oh. Hold on a minute, though. Six and thirty-four. That's so confusing. Just between, though. Does it say between? Mm -hmm. Smoked between six and oh, okay. Between that's a whole nother thing, right? Between six and thirty-four means this. Between six and thirty-four. Okay? That means everyone's included, it's inclusive. So that's a whole nother thing. Between six and thirty-four just means like we did before. Smoke between six and thirty-four. So that means I'm going between D and F. So D, E, and F all are included. So I would add those three up and get eight point eight percent chance of picking one of them one of the students that smoked between them. Okay. So let me ask you a quick question. What is the percent chance of picking a student that smoked more than 35? Point three percent. Yes. What about more than more than twenty five? Nope. One percent. One percent. Why one percent? Point seven and point three. Point seven and point three. It'd be more than twenty five. Does not include twenty five, right? More than twenty five means these ones, so that would be more than 25. I'm going to use a different color here. More than 25. So that would be 0.7 plus 0.3, which equals 1.0. But those are in percents, so it would be 1% chance. Good? All right.